Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. I am African Bella, the real talk. If you are new, I talk of relationships, fashion, beauty and life experiences in general so please make sure you subscribe if you haven't for today's video it is a story time guys so guys today's story is a love story guys <laughs> and i'll call it in love with a west african man or a west african guy this love story was told by my friend the one who connected me with my husband if you watched how we met video but if you haven't please go and watch it if you want to know how this story started and ended did this guy marry my friend or not watch this video till the end don't skip anything you are going to learn a lot of things i promise you from this story but before i start i want to give you a disclaimer please <laughs> My brothers, West African men, I'm not attacking you at all. We are just having an experience because we have good and bad men everywhere. Whether black, whether white, good exists and bad exists. What matters is the behavior of a person. So please don't worry at all. Enjoy the story. <laughs> So guys, it all started when my friend came from Tanzania to Italy to study and she was living in Milan at the age of 22. So you know, as young students like to try a lot of new things. So there was this site called Periscope. I've never heard of it. I heard it from her. So she joined this Periscope and she used to chat with different friends all around the world and she could do this during the evening go live and chat so one day she was live she went live and this guy came and started chatting to her and they chatted just as a new friend then after this guy asked when will she go back live the next time she told him that tomorrow. So the next day, as usual, my friend went live on Periscope, started chatting with friends as usual. This guy came and they started chatting. This guy asked my friend if she had Facebook, if she was using Facebook. My friend told, her, told him that, yes, I use Facebook. Then they exchanged their account name on Facebook so that day ended and the next day they started chatting on facebook they chatted they chatted after they they shifted to facebook they went to skype so they started skyping chatting creating a relationship and the relationship was really created it started to be very strong because they could talk every day day and night if my friend is free she calls him and they talk a lot a lot of things they exchange a lot of ideas this guy was really very charming very gentleman you know <laughs> so they continued chatting every day and it really got serious guys <laughs> They could even miss each other if they don't talk. So they could chat and the things they used to talk, they were very serious things. This guy could ask her, how are the weddings done in Tanzania? If he wants to marry her, what are the process? Where does he, where should he start if you want to do that process? And ask her how many kids that she thinks they should have talk like a normal couple but remember they haven't met yet so it reached at a time they decided that they should meet and they reached an agreement that my friend should be the one to visit this guy he was living in Germany Munich 
So my friend prepared. She prepared all her cute dresses. You know, girls, <laughs> how you prepare when you're going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> so she prepared all her beautiful dresses all the things that she needed and this guy sent a ticket from Milan to Germany so my friend went into a flight she was excited arrived at the airport and found this cute guy tall oh my god and my friend told me this guy was smelling so good like heaven guys <laughs> they hugged my friend was so happy that the person she used to see on cam he is real and he is even more cuter than she used to see him so they went to the hotel because they took a hotel why because this guy was living with a sister so he couldn't take my friend to the place where the sister lived so they took a hotel they went to the hotel very excited happy for each other you know the first meeting so my friend was tired a bit because it was the weekend friday so she lied on the bed while this guy went into the bathroom so when this guy entered the bathroom my friend didn't know what was going on <laughs> after after like 30 minutes this guy called my friend that come in the bathroom my friend entered the bathroom do you know what she found she found that this guy had opened water in the bathtub full of flowers <laughs> a very romantic environment lightened up the candles and he opened the champagne and told her please enter into the bathtub so that you can relax <laughs> my friend was like oh my god this is a heaven scent this is the this is the guy that I was really dreaming of. He is the one. She was really happy. And this romantic environment thing was so new for her. No man has ever done that to her. So this thing really made her happy. When she finished bathing, she went to the room and sat on the bed. Then this guy came and told her that I have a surprise for you. Then my friend was like, oh my God, what is this surprise? <laughs> Said, okay. So he brought this book. This book was so big, guys, very big. And gave it to her. So when she opened this book, she found photos of her. A lot, a lot of photos of her and him and she found all the story how they started their story to where it has reached like how they used to chat all the things they used to talk about the wedding about the kids about about everything guys how old she is everything was documented in that book can you imagine guys <laughs> my friend even got scared and said what <laughs> so as she op she continued to open this book she found a ring guys there was a ring my friend got shocked and she 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 told herself that is this guy trying to engage me on the first day but this guy told her that this ring is just a promise ring it isn't an engagement ring but it is a promise ring for their relationship my friend was so happy and it was a swarovski ring guys very expensive oh my god this guy really wind my friend so then they slept and it came in the morning so after that ring thing they hugged, kissed, and you know, <laughs> that 
went for dinner it was a very romantic dinner a very romantic night and the morning came <laughs> so in the morning they woke up very early and went for breakfast and why they woke up very early because this guy had told my friend that he wants to introduce her to the sister i told you he lives with her with his sister so they prepared and went to meet this sister the sister lives in germany i told you the guy lives in germany so they went to visit her and she was welcomed very very well and this sister had a kid this kid really loved my friend a lot i don't know it was just naturally loved her so much i don't know maybe babies are so quick to fall in love <laughs> So the sister was so happy to see my friend and they spent the whole day there. In the evening, they returned to the hotel. So guys, about the ring, my friend accepted the ring, but the ring was too small for her finger. So they agreed that they should go to the store so that they can change it. They went to the store and tried to change it, but she did not find her feet so they promised her that they will make it the next week but my friend had to return to Milan to continue with her studies so this guy told her that when I come to Milan to visit you I'll bring the ring that fits you so the weekend ended and my friend was supposed to return she was so sad guys on the returning day because she had fallen in love with this guy more and more and she did not want to leave him but she had to go to study <laughs> so she left and returned to milan so after my friend returning to milan they continued chatting talking every day as usual and their relationship became strong and stronger every day and this guy decided to visit my friend to milan this guy was not working at that moment he was just searching for the job so he came to milan visited my friend they really enjoyed each other's company it was during the weekend and when the weekend ended this guy returned to germany so guys, they continued like that, him going and she goes to Germany. And one time this guy came to Milan and my friend was late five minutes to pick him from the airport. When she arrived, this guy was really angry. He did not want even to talk. When they arrived home, this guy started talking so bad. He complained, complained, complained. My friend said, I am sorry, but he did not listen. Guy, he continued complaining. And even when it passed and he returned to Germany, this guy continued to talk about it, guys. <laughs> Can you imagine such kind of a guy that you talk of something, you said, I am sorry, but he keeps on bringing it back in your conversation so he was that kind of a guy so it started with that problem of coming late five minutes then after this guy started telling my friend to leave all her friends she's not allowed to go to club she's not allowed to go anywhere with friends she is supposed to stay at home if she goes out and he calls then if she says I am with my friends, then this guy gets angry and tells her you are supposed to stay at home. What are you doing with your friends? I don't want to see you around people. So he started controlling my friend a lot. So guys, this guy started stopping my friend being with friends. And remember my friend was young at the age of 22, very naive guys. And this guy started controlling her a lot. Also, 
Not only that, he started competing with her too. So he started going out so much late at night. And when my friend calls, he says, I am out with my friends, but he stays too late, even goes at home in the morning. So my friend was really surprised with this behavior, but she was not so bothered much. As I have said, she was naive. So they continued like that. And so guys, after that incident of airport, things started to change slowly by slowly. This guy started to become very rude. And one time he was at home, my friend called and he told her that I am at home today. I am eating a Western dish. It is not like you. You don't cook for me our Western dish. I am eating a very delicious Western dish. And my friend was like, why is this guy talking like this? And who is cooking that Western dish? She did not know. She asked herself questions, you know, but it ended there. So one time this guy told my friend that I am going out with my friends. So he went out and my friend called to check on him if he, he went back home. But this guy did not pick the call. She called even late night, but this guy did not respond. In the morning, she saw a photo of the boyfriend and a girl in Facebook. My friend was really surprised. She went straight and called the boyfriend. When she called the boyfriend in the morning, the boyfriend picked and said, right now I am out. When I reach home, I'll talk to you. I'll tell you the truth. Do you know what, guys? My friend could not wait for this guy to get at home so that she can know the truth. She can find out the truth, the answer to the questions. So this guy arrived home and called my friend and told her the truth that I am in a relationship and I am having a girlfriend. And this girlfriend is a Western girl just like I am. Can you imagine, guys? My friend's world crashed. She was very surprised. She felt like dying because she had believed this guy to an extent that she knew he was the one, he was the husband to be. So this news was a shocking news for her. She did not believe it at all. What she did, she decided to call the brother because they used to communicate with the brother when they have a problem between the two of them <clears throat> so she called the brother to ask if it was the truth so the brother said yes what you heard is true i am so sorry my friend cried she really cried she felt like to kill herself because she even depended on this guy. This guy was everything to her. He was a best friend, a boyfriend, everything, guys. So this was a very bad moment for my friend. But do you know what, guys? As ladies, we can be so stubborn. She did not want to give up on this guy. She continued calling this guy. She continued messaging this guy. But this guy did not respond. And when he responded, he told her that, I am done with you. Move on with your life. I have my girlfriend. And this girlfriend is from the same country as I am. And I love her so much. This but this girlfriend works and that guy had got a job already as an engineer so they were all working and he told her move on with your life i am moving on with mine just accept the truth can you imagine guys the guy that you believed will marry you the guy that you really loved the guy that you took as everything to you has turned completely 
to be a very different person. So my friend lost weight. My friend refused to eat. She locked herself inside the house and it reached an extent that even the parents decided to help this girl because it was going too far. So they took her to the counselor so that they can talk to her to know what is going on, what is disturbing her, why is she like that. And also another thing that helped her, the friends started coming back and helping her going out and slowly by slowly she started understanding that this guy's relationship is really over. So she started over, started going out and she even told me one time she decided to become alcoholic but the friends insisted that no, this is not the way. This is not the way that you should live, please. Yes, if you want to take alcohol, you can take, but not to this extent. So she changed and she started loving herself, gaining her force back. And this guy started texting her and checking on her like, I've seen your photos, you look so beautiful. And my friend was like, what does this guy want from me? So after like two months, their relationship lasted a year and a half. But when they broke up after two months, then this guy started telling my friend that uh, our relationship with that Western African girl is over. I found out that she was not the one. Even my family looked back in Africa. They went to the witch doctor to check if we were compatible, but we, we were not. And they told me that the parents told the told the girl the ex-boyfriend told me that this guy was this girl was not good for me. She was going to make me poor. So the relationship is over, and I think you are the best woman for me. You are the one. Please let us get back. I really love you so much. Forgive me for everything. Let us get back. But when my friend heard of that story of witch doctor and all that she had gone through, she said, I am sorry. Continue with your life. I am continuing with mine. I have moved on. So please leave me alone. But the guy insisted and he was like, I am giving you, I will wait. Even if it takes five years, I will wait for you. But my friend did not accept. So this guy continued insisting. My friend continued with her life. And one time this guy told my friend that, Ah, right now I am having a, a new girlfriend and this girlfriend is a white woman we have started going out then he was like wanting the advice from the ex-girlfriend which is my friend I don't know why this guy was doing this maybe to make my friend jealous I don't know so my my friend decided also to make this guy jealous too so she could tell him everything that if she has met a man going out with a man and ask for the advice <laughs> to the ex-boyfriend <laughs> so it continued like that and this guy one time said ah uh, this white woman is pregnant but i don't want to marry her and i was not ready for the baby i told her to abort but she did not she's refusing we'll just be parents that's all because i still hope for you i am waiting for you my friend again told this guy that forget about me move on with your life this guy was really a narcissist very controlling very competing all behavior of a narcissist guy this guy had so my friend after some time she decided to join the dating sites guys to look for the love because 
that relationship with a West African guy taught her a lesson. So this time she decided to change everything and started to look for love again. So she entered this site, dating site, I think some of you know it, it is called Tinder. She went to Tinder and luckily she found the husband. She is now married, very happy, and they're having one baby boy. Very happy. And she told me this guy sometimes calls her to check on her that he wants to continue being a friend but they talk sometimes because she's now married and he's moving on with his life so guys that is how the love story ended i hope you have enjoyed this story i hope you have learned something and i also have my own story of a western guy relationship experience next time i'll tell you this story how it went <laughs> so thank you so much guys for listening to this story please give it a thumbs up if you've liked this story share with your friends your family so that they can enjoy it too also comment what you think about this story don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos too i love you so much i'll meet you in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.